Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You will get okay. ten minutes to present your presentation. Okay, sir. And presentation continue uh, contains twenty marks and Bible contains thirty marks. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay sir. sir. Please, everyone should be involved in the presentation. Otherwise, he or she will get zero. Okay, okay sir. Fine. Thank okay, you. Sir. Best of luck. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, so, start. good morning. Okay. Sir. So, uh, good morning, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, respected our dean and our guide, uh, Dr. Divya Jatibara. So, uh, our title of our project was Brain Tumor Detection Using Machine Learning Algorithm. And under this project, we have also successfully published our paper, uh, Machine Learning Based Techniques uh, for Brain Tumor Analysis. So, uh, for that, I would like to thank our sir, uh, dean, and also our guide for helping us through this project. Thank you so much. And to start off with our presentation, uh, the first content, the content of our presentation today is uh, the first is introduction, proposed method, uh, project overview, project screenshot and results, future work, conclusion and reference. So uh, to continue with the introduction, I would like to request my uh, project uh, uh, partner, mm -hmm. Sabia Rai, uh, for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. So I would like to introduce our uh, key words here, that is, number one is brain tumor. What is brain tumor? It is a mass of abnormal cells that results from uncontrollable cell growth and can threaten the life of a person. There are about 120 types of brain tumors and are mainly categorized in two categories. Number one is benign and other one is malignant. So benign is a non-cancerous cell and my uh, malignant is a cancerous cell. The second keyword is machine learning. Machine learning is an uh, part of artificial intelligence, uh, a study of algorithms that are used by a computer system to perform a specific task without using explicit uh, instruction, that is the human influence is a machine learning. Uh, it relies on the pattern or the inference rather than the instructions of a human. And the third keyword is the magnetic resonance imaging, that is the MRI. The MRI is a medical imaginary using powerful magnetic field and the radio waves. MRI offers us the brain tumor present and in depth data in a grayscale image. So, uh, so for this uh, the diagram that we can see, so this is the basic uh, structure of a detection system, which means that this, uh, this diagram is not only for brain detection, but also for any kind of detection system. So uh, before going into the proposed methodologies, we need to understand the first uh, how a detection system works. So this is the diagram, as you can see, the steps involved in this uh, detection system, that is the data acquisition, pre-processing, and extraction, classification, and estimation as follows. So uh, to explain that, I would like to first uh, explain what is data acquisition. Data acquisition is nothing but uh, collection, collect, collecting of data sets uh, for our this one system uh, from different sources or from different uh, website uh, as we have collected. And second proce uh, process is uh, pre-processing, which uh, includes the denoising, filtration, and segmentation of the images. And we have uh, extraction, uh, which means that uh, after segmenting the images, we will extract the features of the image, which will be further used in our classification. So classification, as we all know, we use a classifier to classify what type of class or what type of uh, tumor is, uh, is related in our uh, in relation with our project, what type of tumor it is. So we will use a specific uh, techniques for all this process. And yeah, for that uh, proposed method, we have uh, proposed this method. And to further uh, explain this, um, I'd like to uh, uh, request uh, my project partners, Sabia Rai, to explain this uh, diagram. So this is our proposed method, which is divided into the six steps. Number one is data acquisition, as uh, my partner has already explained about it. Second one is the pre-processing in which we are using the fuzzy mean CM filter. And third one is segmentation, that is the fuzzy semen clustering. And fourth one is extraction, using the WT 
the DTW that is the discrete wavelet transform and PCA that is principal component analysis. And the first one is classification of benign and malignant tumor using the KSVM and the sixth one is and the final one is the classification if it's a uh, malignant type then what type of uh, malignant tumor it is. Okay, so for the filtration, as we have seen, we have you are using fuzzy median filter. So uh, we, after going through the papers, we uh, we found out that uh, median filters are way better than mean filter, as like it, it removes the noises from the image. Rather than in mean, mean filter, we can see that it just distribute the noises in different uh, areas. Whereas in median filter, we can directly remove the noises and. For that, we have chosen median filter, and we also implemented the fuzzy logic in this median filter. Same for the uh, clustering pro uh, processes, uh, we use this fuzzy logic in here also, like in fuzzy clustering. This fu fuzzy clustering is uh, we use this for this in segmentation. So in segmentation, to divide the different uh, to divide the image into different sectors, we need a classifier. Uh, sorry, sorry, we need a technique. So for that, we, we chose a clustering technique in the, under which we have two types of clustering technique that is uh, hard and soft clustering. So fuzzy C-mean comes under the soft clustering. So uh, hard clustering, in hard clustering, uh, we have K-means clustering, which is uh, a cl clustering technique, which, which is good. But uh, actually, we saw that uh, this fuzzy C-mean is more flexible and more flexible and more uh, better, which gives a better result than this uh, K-means. So we have chosen this fuzzy C-mean for the uh, clustering uh, and for the segmentation. And for the extraction and this one, uh, dimensional reduction, I would like to request uh, my project partner, Sabir Rai, for this. So in extraction, what is extraction? It is basically uh, extracting the most important features that are needed in our classification, which we will do using the discrete wavelet transform. In discrete wavelet transform, the uh, image pixels are converted into the wavelet, which uh, further is used in compression using the wavelet based coding and compression. There are two types of compression. Number one is useless, where uh, the data, uh, where the image is uh, compressed with the minimum losses and uh, without losing any uh, important information and it can be uh, decomposed to its original form, uh, uh, decompressed in the original form, form after the compression. And in loosely the uh, compression, in, uh, in loosely compression, uh, the important data, some important minimum but some important data are lost and uh, when we decompress it, we cannot uh, get the original form of the data. And uh, in the extraction only, we are using the PCA, that is principal component access, to reduce the dimension because our data uh, may be in higher dimension also. But for the uh, classification, uh, classification, we need a lower dimensional input. So second, uh, now the next one is the classification. Classification means the categorizing uh, the given data set, the uh, extracted data set into a specific class. And here our spe uh, two specific classes are malignant and benign. In this, we are using KSVM where uh, the uh, where the uh, where with the help of the support vector, we will. Uh, divide our two classes uh, into two categories. And the, th uh, and the next one is multi-SVM, which is uh, used to segregate more than two classes after uh, uh, classifying whether it's a benign or the malignant tumor. We will classify our uh, malignant tumor into six groups. Uh, for that, we're using multi-SVM.
Yeah, so the uh, next uh, project overview. So this project was prepared uh, with the aim of to come up with a more accurate and less time consuming other uh, in comparison to other or existing uh, system that we that we go with that we have gone through. And for that, we have used some uh, procedures and some steps uh, to ensure that our uh, system is working a little bit faster or like more time less consuming and has a uh, more accuracy. So uh, for that, we will go to the screenshots and project. So for this one, uh, I'd like to uh, ask my project partner for explaining this uh, screenshot, the first screenshot. So uh, this is the uh, this is a screenshot our of our same data set that uh, after extracting the features from the uh, given data uh, from the raw data set. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is our coding uh, coding part. Uh, actually, uh, as you know, that we cannot add every code into the this one uh, system uh, in this screenshot. So I have just added the first portion of the code, and if we see in the uh, like upside, uh, we can see the classification class one, class two, class three, and cross validation, extraction, segmentation. So all these uh, are divided as like this, and we have written the codes in in this order. So uh, yeah, that's it. And this is our GUI that we designed it. So in GUI, the first thing we see is pre-processing, as we have seen in our diagram, pre-processing. So this pre-processing will uh, filter our image and upload our image <coughs> at the same time. And Otto. after that, yes, sir. Thank you. You have taken more than 10 minutes. Now only five minutes left for us to ask you, right? OK, 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 sir. Now, Manoj sir is there. Manoj sir, you, do, you want to ask anything? Uh, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, what is uh, type one and type two error? Sorry, sir. What is type one error and type two error? Sorry, 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 my. Hello, uh, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah. Okay, Mano sir asked, what is type one and type two error? Okay, type one and type two error. Sorry, sir, I don't have any idea. Hmm. No, no idea. No, sir. False positive, false negative. Did you do anything like this in your uh, project? Project, sir. No, uh, no I didn't. You didn't come anything like False that. positive, false negative was not done. No, sir. No, sir. Okay. okay. Can you tell me? I have two, three questions, right? Okay. Sir. Yeah. Manasa, can I ask? Yeah, sure. I'm done. What is uh, you? You told in your presentation. You told somewhere. You told about classification. Somewhere you told about segmentations. Yeah, correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me the difference between classification and segmentation. At least one difference. Okay, sir. So uh, segmentation, as we know, it's an unsupervised uh, the learning method and classification is a supervised method. So that is a one difference. And for segmentation... Right. Uh, done, 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 done. Okay, okay, sir. okay. Now, in your presentation, you told about multi-class SVM. Yes, sir. Okay. How multi-class SVM differs from SVM? So, so basically, SVM is a linear method and uh, multi-class is a non-linear method where we uh, in SVM we can uh, divide the uh, divide the data sets only in two uh, two classes where in multi-SVM we can divide uh, it into more than four and five classes rather than two classes that is the main difference and okay, in SVM fine 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 now 
how you came to came into this conclusion that your project will require multi class svm matlab you have chosen multi class svm for your project yes sir on what basis what are the signals what are the signs what are the symptoms that ask you or that tell you ki you should use multi class svm not svm or net not any other classifier so because uh, my as my project partner has said like uh, svm can only classify two types of uh, classes but in a multi svm we can classify more than two types of classes and which so in your project to... in your project how many class you 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 are uh, talking about uh, so sir for multi class. svm sir uh huh multi class yes, svm sir in in your project how many class you 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 uh, already you you are going to apply or you applied how many class is there a you are b. saying you are saying b9 and melain yes sir that that is two that is for the like what type of tumor it is after that the multi svm is used for if it is the melain uh, no, see, see, see see hold on hold on yes sir in your project how many class you have chosen so we have chosen uh six till now and including please, this please, uh, please, nine please tell please tell the classes class names sir so it's a name of the uh, types of tumor sir so okay. uh, for example like sacroma sir yeah, yeah. sacroma giloma sir and all those okay okay fine fine so and uh, and uh, yeah these are the types of tumors right Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If if they are malign, so and they yeah. are benign, how you will yes, classify them again? So using SVM, sir. So again, you are using SVM only. Then these two class where they will, uh, I mean, they will be, uh, I mean, this this one, they will be taken. I mean, ये जो दो class जो है benign and malign है, तुम बोल रहे हो कि छह class है about tumor. ये बिनाइन एंड मेलाइन जो है ये भी दो क्लास है इनको कहा रखे हैं आपने एसबीएम में सर एसबीएम में रखा है वो वो द फर्स्ट टू क्लास दैट इज बिनाइन एंड मेनिंगम वी हैव केट इन एसबीएम एंड फॉर द मल्टी एसबीएम वी हैव केट सिक्स क्लास सो दिस आर द टू टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ दिस वन क्लासिफिक क्लासिफायर वी आर यूजिंग सर सो इन मल्टी एसबीएम वी आर यूजिंग सिक्स क्लास एंड इन एसबीएम वी आर यूजिंग टू क्लास ओके थैंक यू आई एम डन थैंक यू सर ओके थैंक यू सर So how how did you check the accuracy? So accuracy using this uh kernel kernel accuracy. If you can see the screenshot, like we have checked the accuracy according to this. Okay, so uh, you don't keep take into consideration of uh, false positive and false negative. No, For this, Debus, sir, is uh, is is false positive, false negative uh, really necessary for the uh, accuracy of the model ha huh. for classification ha huh. ah confusion matrix ha uh -huh. so uh, it, it it is not necessary in their uh, model classification for classification it's not necessary here it is necessary right ha uh -huh. हाँ हाँ अच्छा अच्छा ओके ओके ओ अच्छा अच्छा हम्म हाँ कॉन्फ्यूशन मैट्रिक्स इस नेसेसरी हम्म हम्म Hmm. 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 So actually, both of them, Sabia should know actually what is false yes, positive sir. and false negative. <laughs> okay. Fine. Sir. Okay. Fine. So okay. next group, next group already already in. I think we are very happy with this. Sabia and uh, Boto, yes, please sir. stay stay safe, stay healthy. Right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Best of luck. Okay. Ah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have noted it down, sir. And I, I request Boto, I request Boto and Sabha, please continue your study and do some PhD or some better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, 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 sir
uh, for the study right thank you so much thank sir thank you yeah. so much sir okay thank you bye bye take care thank you sir